how much were you involved on finding out, you know, even have an insider uh, 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 scoop on what happened with the Iranian revolution? There's a lot of different stories when they talk about the uh, 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 overthrowing of uh, uh, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi and how right after the dinner with Carter, he leaves in 77, December 31st, they, you know, toast. And he leaves and almost the riots, the protesting, the revolution begins. And then 13 months later, a little over 13 months later, he's in exile and he's out. And Iran gets, you know, turned over to Khomeini. And uh, things change a lot. And there's a lot of different speculation on what, what took place. You know, whether it was the, you know, the 25-year uh, uh, contract of oil that was coming up. You know, the consor consortium agreement of 1954 between Iran, Germany, U.S., U.K., and I think France, and they had the secret meeting saying, let's get him to uh, uh, dethrone him. You know, there's uh, some tensions with what was going on with other reasons for Carter and Iran. There's a lot of different stories that you hear about, but that's something, something that's close to me because I grew up, had a lot of different talks with people that were directly involved in that. But I'm curious to hear from you because if you were involved 64 to 96, 78, 79, and you guys trained a lot of the Savak that came to you for training. There's got to be some kind of a story or, uh, 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 you know, or even factual reasons that you have on why Iran fell because they were doing fine. It's not like they weren't doing good. They were expanding and all of a sudden they had a fall. Well, what do you think was the reason behind it? You know, there is a, we have a saying that uh, a man is close to himself. And in the in the sense that uh, I can give you my uh, personal experience. Um, you you didn't mention uh, the fact that uh, I uh, spent two and a half years in Iran uh, in person. Me and my uh, young uh, and beloved wife. Uh, since the, since the beginning of 1966 to uh, the summer of 68. Um, a relative long time before the uh, revolution in, in Iran. But uh, I can tell you, for instance, that, uh, and, and we, we, we spend time mainly in the South, Abadan, Khoramchao, um, and, and, and the Gulf, those places. And I cannot forget that uh, uh, prior to uh, uh, each and every uh, Memorial Day to the uh, sacrifice of uh, the uh, Shiites prophets, Hassan and Hussein, the, 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 the government called the foreign people who lived at that time in, in Iran, and they asked the foreigners, please remain in your houses during those days of uh, memorial. And I remember that uh, when I uh, faced this uh, um, unique uh, unique uh, uh, phenomenon because uh, um, I didn't I was I was not uh, exposed to uh, to this kind of uh, events uh, before I uh, asked as I remember asking myself the question a hey, how how is it going to uh, to uh, end towards where this uh, this uh, religious uh, uh, factor will uh, will develop and jumping from 66 7 and 8 towards the uh, uh, um, 70s and the end of the 70s we and I, I'm, I'm I'm speaking now generally in general terms. Our evalu evaluation was that Iran going towards a revolution or the change of the, the regime. We share this uh, we share this information with 
with our American partners. I can remind you that at that time, the American ambassador was, was Helms, the guy who, 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 who later on became the director of the CIA as well. As much as I can uh, recall it, um, the Americans uh, have not uh, accepted our evaluations. And why is it so? Because the, uh, the Americans and other foreigners were, were exposed to the uh, military capabilities of Iran. Their evaluation was that um, the Shah was uh, pretty much ready and capable to cope with uh, any attempt of a revolution. He was ready? Ready, I mean, ready militarily. Okay. Ready militarily. The one, the one point which, uh, which no one at that time, at least, uh, at least among the, uh, the intelligence circle, was that uh, what's going to be the uh, attitude of uh, President Carter? And uh, as I put together all the uh, pieces, um, the Shah waited for President Carter to nod with his head like this. And uh, Carter didn't didn't do it. Not only didn't do it, he expressed his his objection to uh, any military uh, uh, step uh, supposedly taken by uh, by the Shah. So, if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.